This video is going to show you how do you uh, look at a movie and calculate the velocity of an object moving in a movie. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I want to insert my movie. So in my menu, I'm going to go to the top where it says insert and go down to where it says movie. And then I'll find my movie, which here it is. So here's the video. And I'll kind of move it to the middle. Now, in order to get this to do right, in order to get this to, to work right, because I'm going to change the uh, frame rate of it, I've got to do these steps. In other words, in these steps, the last thing I want to do is change the frame rate. Wait until you're done all the measurements, then change the frame rate. Otherwise, what will happen is it will skip dots. It's just a, a little hiccup in the Logger Pro software right now. So it will skip some of the data that you're taking. So if I don't want to skip the data, the last thing I'm going to do is adjust the frame rate. So now let's pull out the video analysis tools. I'm going to cl click on this little button in the lower right hand corner of the video. It's got the three dots and the arrow. I'll click on that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the video or the computer what a certain distance looks like. So in this case on my little stick I've got from 20, 30, 40, 50, that's 30 centimeters. And I want it the biggest distance I can in the video that will give me the most accurate information. So if I'm off by a pixel, it will be a really small piece of a centimeter. Whereas if I measure a small distance and I'm off by a pixel, it will be a big piece of a centimeter. So I'm going to measure a large distance. I'm going to click on this ruler up here. It's the fourth icon down on the right. It says Set Scale. And then I'm going to drag it, in this case, from the beginning of 20 all the way over to 50. Try to draw a straight line. Be as accurate as you can on these lines, consistent. So that line should be 30 centimeters. Now the computer is asking for how big it is. So for the distance, I'm going to type in 0 0.30 meters. That's 30 centimeters. Click OK. And of course, I'm using meters because we do everything in the SI units. So now the computer knows what a distance looks like on the screen. I'm going to tell it where the origin is. So I'll click on the third icon down from the top on the right hand side to set the origin and I'm going to put it, it really doesn't matter, but I'll put it right here around the 20. So that's the origin. Now I'm to get ready to start collecting some data. I'm going to move the bottom, there's the double arrows pointing to the right. I'll click on that. Here we go. So I'm going to start collecting data. Now when I collect data, I need to click on some piece of the object consistently. And I'm not sure which one to use. I'm going to click on the front of the ball, kind of towards the center as I go across. So to collect the data, I'll go to the top of the screen on the right hand side. It's the second one down from the second icon down from the top. Looks like a plus sign with a dot in the middle. I'll click on that and I'll start collecting data. So I'm going to click on some part of the object that I can consistently click on throughout the whole video. In this case, it'll be the front of the ball. So I'm going to click on the front of the ball and as it moves, I'll carefully click on the front of the ball and the front of the ball. And I can actually use my crosshair here to make sure I'm going straight across on the front of the ball. And I'll keep doing this. Now I'm going to pause for a moment because I'm going to collect a lot of data, then I'll come back to the video. Okay, we should be back now. And you can see I've collected a lot of data, all those blue dots on the screen. And I'm going to collect a, a few more in the front of the ball. So I'll stop here. So now I have all this data for all the, this uh, information. And what my computer has done is it's made a distance versus time graph. So I'm going to clean up my screen a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the page menu at the top and go down to where it says auto arrange or in the case of my Mac I can press the um, command R. So now I kind of put it out of the way and I'm also going to now adjust my movie. So I need to adjust the frame rate because my video is shot at 60 frames per second and the typical video is shot at 30 frames per second. So I need to adjust it to tell the computer to change the time frame. I'm going to go to options and go down to where it says movie options and it, over here it says override frame rate. I'll click on that now and I'll type in 60 FPS. That's 60 frames per second and then click on OK. Time scale changed on my uh, graph and now it's all adjusted just right. Now what this has done is plotted two things. The red dots are the horizontal line. That's the X amount that's moved horizontally. The blue dots is how basically horizontal my, my dots were. And my dots weren't perfect. I went up and down a little bit, so you can see a little wiggle in the line. And I'm not going to do anything with the vertical measurements. So I'm going to get rid of the blue dots, part of the measurement. I'll click on the Y, and I'll make it an X. So that got rid of it and makes everything just this one collection of data, which is great. Now, notice this: my data on my video was all about distance. However, it converted over to a time on the bottom of this graph. 
So in order to find the velocity on a position versus time graph, that's an x versus t graph, I need to find the slope. And this software can do that for me. So let's say I want to find the slope around a half a second and the slope around one and a half seconds. So to do that, I'm going to click on my cursor. I'm going to highlight some data on the screen. So that's about around the, one and, uh, around the half second interval. Go up to the top and I'm going to click on the icon. It's a linear fit icon and I'll click on it and it'll give me a little box for the section of data that I highlighted. And you can see little brackets on the graph showing the highlighted section. Now the font's kind of small, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it bigger by double clicking on the box. Then I'll click on Appearance. And I'll change the font size from 10 to 20. I keep clicking OK to back out. And the reason why I'm doing this is because when I put this in my lab report and I make this picture small, by doing the font really big and the picture becomes small, it'll be easier to read directly from the graph. The next thing we had to do was we had to find the slope somewhere around one and a half seconds. I'm going to collect some data around one and a half seconds. And there we go, it's a little bit of data. I'll do the same thing and do the linear fit. Click on that icon. The box pops up and I'll move the box. I'm dragging it around now. Double click on the box. Click on the appearance button. Change the font to 20 again. Click on OK. Click on OK. So now I know the font around the half second interval is about 0.26 and the font around one and a half seconds is about 0.1 uh, three meters per second and that's the slope that I'm reading because I know the slope on a position versus time graph is the velocity. Now this is giving you an average over the range that I've highlighted. Remember though if you have a constant acceleration and we operate with the understanding that all accelerations are constant, if you have a constant acceleration the average equals the exact velocity halfway through the time interval that I highlighted. So hopefully I highlighted the same amount of dots on the left and right side of 0.5 seconds and on one and a half seconds I didn't do that. So that's actually not the best representation of the data at one and a half seconds. Finally, if you have any problems, remember it's about clicking the data and taking the data, data down in this order. If you're going to do anything with changing the frame rate, if you change up the order, you could mess up the dots, the, soft, the dots, the software may not uh, collect all those dots.